Welcome to Keep the Faith Ministry News. In a June 13 conversation between Black Lives Matter BLM co-founder Patrice Cullors and BLM Los Angeles chapter co-founder Melina Abdullah, Abdullah discusses how the two of them have become very intimate with the spirits we call on regularly. And Cullors talks about how using a hashtag for BLM is, quote, almost resurrecting a spirit so that it can work through us. We're invoking our ancestors, states Abdullah. The conversation between the two Black Lives Matter activists took place after a live performance art event by Colors entitled, quote, A Prayer for the Runner. The performance was sponsored as part of June Pride Month by the Fowler Museum at UCLA. Colors identifies as queer and she is, quote, married to BLM activist Jaina Khan, who also identifies as queer. In addition to her Black Lives Matter activism, Melina Abdullah is the chairman of the Department of Pan-African Studies at Cal State LA. She also is a defender of Louis Farrakhan and the Nation of Islam. Abdullah spoke at the 2015 Million Man March organized by Farrakhan. In the interview, Abdullah states, quote, Maybe I'm sharing too much, but we've become very intimate with the spirits that we call on regularly. Right like each of them seems to have a different presence and personality, you know? I laugh a lot with Waukesha Wilson, you know, and I didn't meet her in body. Waukesha Wilson was a black woman who suffered from bipolar disorder and reportedly hanged herself while in LAPD custody. Her death has become a cause celebrate among BLM activists. Colors responds, saying that she was raised a Jehovah's Witness, but, quote, as I got older, Ancestor ancestral worship became really important. Colors then explains how the hashtag such as Say Her Name and BLM are a means to honor the dead and invoke them. Quote, hashtags for us are way more than a hashtag, Color says. It is literally almost resurrecting a spirit so that it can work through us so that we can get the work that we need to get done. Later in the conversation, Abdullah says that, quote, even beyond remembering them, ancestors, we're invoking them. She further describes, quote, in our tradition, when we call out our ancestors, we call them out for specific purposes. And the first thing we do when we hear of one of these murders is we come out, we pray, and we pour libation, we build with the community where the person's life was stolen. Before these protests, where the people have died, we know, quote, we literally are standing on spilled blood, says Abdullah. Patrice Cullors is one of the three co-founders of BLM, along with Alicia Garza and Opal Tometi. Cullors is credited with creating the hashtag Black Lives Matter in 2013 after the acquittal of George Zimmerman in the Trayvon Martin case. She cites Weather Underground member Eric Mann as being an inspiration, her mentor. In a video, Patrice Cullors describes herself and Garza as, quote, trained Marxist. During the interview with Abdullah, Cullors references two articles written by her, quote, homegirl, Heba Farage, about the spirituality of Black Lives Matter. Heba Farage is the assistant director of research of the USC Center for Religion and Civics Culture. On her webpage at USC, one of Farage's areas of expertise is listed as, Quote, the spirituality of Black Lives Matter. In a July 3, 2020 article, quote, the fight for Black Lives is a spiritual movement, Farage says. Black Lives Matter, BLM, chapters, along with organizations affiliated with the larger movement for Black Lives, channel deep grief and trauma caused by racial injustice into political action through a spiritually informed movement. Faraj then describes a BLM Los Angeles protest outside the home of Mayor Eric Garcetti that occurred on June 2, 2020. Quote, Melina Abdullah, chair of the Department of Pan-African Studies at California State University, Los Angeles, and co-founder of BLM LA, opened the event explaining that while the movement is a social justice movement, it is first and foremost a spiritual movement, wrote Faraj. She continued, Quote, Abdullah led the group in a ritual, 
the reciting of names of those taken by state violence before their time, ancestors now being called back to animate their own justice. George Floyd, I say. Philandro Castillo, I say. Andrew Joseph, I say. Michael Brown, I say. Eric Gardner, I say. Harriet Tubman, I say. Malcolm X, I say. Martin Luther King, I say. Quote, as each name is recited, Dr. Abdullah poured libations on the ground as the group of over a hundred chanted Ase, Amen, a Yoruba term often used by practitioners of Ifa, a faith and divination system that originated in West Africa, wrote Faraj. Quote, this ritual, Dr. Abdullah explained, is a form of worship. Quote, the movement infuses a syncretic blend of African and indigenous cultures, spiritual practices, and beliefs, embracing ancestor worship, if a based rituals such as chanting, dancing, and summoning deities, and healing practices such as acupuncture, reiki, therapeutic massage, and plant medicine in much of its work, including protests, said Farage. She then described Patrice colors during the COVID-19 lockdown as follows, quote, As a person ordained in IFA, she also led meditations that allowed participants to better imagine the future while advocating for self-care, mental health awareness, healing justice, and art activism during the pandemic. The Yoruba religion of IFA is a system of spiritual divination that is practiced in West Africa, the Canary Islands, and in South America. It is also practiced in the United States. Sacrifice is a fundamental part of Ifa and elements of the system are found in Voodoo and Santeria. Quote, Victims and materials of sacrifice vary from one circumstance to another and from one divinity to another. According to J. Omosade Awalalu with the University of Ibadan, Nigeria in an article from the Journal of Religion of Africa. Quote, but on the whole, things offered are those which are used by human beings in their day-to-day -day life, ranging from the smallest living and non-living things to the biggest domestic animals, like the cow, and, in some very special circumstances, human beings are offered, he states. However, human sacrifice was abolished by the British in West Africa in the 19th century, according to Awolalu. In a September 14, 2020 article, Colors, Quote, homegirl Heba Farage states, quote, BLM leaders such as co-founder Patrice Colors are deeply committed to incorporating spiritual leadership. Colors grew up as a Jehovah's Witness and later became ordained in Ifa, a West African Yoruba religion. Quote, drawing on Native American, Buddhist, and mindfulness traditions, her syncretic spiritual practice is fundamental to her work. As Colors explained to us, the fight to save your life is a spiritual fight. Quote, it is fondly supposed that the heathen superstitions have disappeared before the civilization of the 20th century. But the word of God and the stern testimony of facts declare that sorcery is practiced in this age as verily in the days of old time magicians. The ancient system of magic is, in reality, the same as what is known now as modern spiritualism. Satan is finding access to thousands of minds by presenting himself under the guise of departed friends. The scriptures declare that the dead know not anything, Ecclesiastes 9.5. Their thoughts, their love, their hatred have perished. The dead do not hold communion with the living. But true to his early cunning, Satan employs this device in order to gain control of minds. Acts of the Apostles Page 289. Quote, Through spiritualism, many of the sick, the bereaved, the curious are communicating with evil spirits. All who venture to do this are on dangerous ground. The word of truth declares how God regards them. In ancient times, he pronounced stern judgment on a king who had sent for counsel to a heathen oracle. It is not because there is not a God in Israel that ye go to inquire of Beelzebub, the God of Ekron? Now therefore thus saith the Lord, Thou shalt not come down from that bed on which thou art gone up, but shalt surely die. 
2 Kings 1.3. Acts of the Apostles, page 290. This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. Thank you for watching.